Hello, this is Loredana and today I will show you Pipeline, or a visual ID for composing Solidity smart contracts that use functions from already deployed contracts. Imagine an automated system for buying a product from a marketplace based on smart contracts. You can have a smart contract that registers vendors, rates them and keeps track of what products they have. You can have another one for keeping track of prices and another contract for the actual marketplace and so on. All you need to do is pick the functions you need from those contracts and Pipeline will compose the smart contract for you. So let's see how our contract template looks like without choosing any functions. And we just see a payable functions with some variables defined. Let us pick a function from the vendor prices contract. For example, calculate quantity. This calculates the quantity of a product based on the amount of ether sent with the transaction and based on a vendor's price. If we look at the code again, we can see the contract calculates the function signature, then calls our general proxy with the contract address function signature and input. If we choose another function, for example, set quantity from the marketplace contract, we can connect the output from this one to the input of set quantity. And if we look at the code again, we can see how the contract knows how to handle the output from the first and uses it as an input for set quantity. Let us add some more functions. For example, if we want to buy a product, we also need a way to find a well-suited vendor. We can also connect the vendor to this set quantity function. But now we actually want to define an automatic process to buy a product. So we are going to delete the connection and also delete the set quantity function. We will connect the vendor to the calculate quantity function in the vendor prices contract and also with the buy function from the marketplace. We can also connect the quantity variables here. And then we have the product ID, which will be an argument for the wrapper function that wraps all these transactions. So we need to pipe it to all the function that needs it. Now let's look at the code. So the vendor registration contract gives us a vendor that is also used in the calculate quantity. The quantity here is also used as an input for the buy function and we get to buy our product. We can even get the JSON from, for the diagram for later use. All diagrams are composed using the smart contract ABIs and pipeline handles the function input and output based on the function ABI. Now let's test this contract in Remix. I have already deployed the other smart contracts, so let us compile our programmatically constructed contract and deploy it. Now we need to set the other contract addresses in the constructor. So this is our contract. 
let's set a buyer account and then the product ID will be one because we already have some registered vendors on this product ID. Now all we need to set is the value in a way that we are willing to pay for the product and send the transaction. The marketplace contract emits an event for every buy and we can just look at the data and check the arguments. This is the vendor address, product ID 1 and quantity 100 because this is the amount of product that we receive after sending a thousand way and this is our buyer address. Okay, so we use the programmatically created smart contract to act as a pipeline for already deployed contracts using a special general proxy in Solidity that we have created. To recap, pipeline receives a set of smart contract ABIs and deployment addresses or the graph source as JSON, returns Solidity code with a new smart contract and a function that executes the flow graph ready to be deployed on chain. It can also return the graph source in JSON format. Pipeline, a visual IDE for building smart contracts. Thank you for watching and we also invite you to see our other demos.